The wasontel cake is actually something quite easy that everybody can make. Hi, my name is Katsuri Tanabe and I'm the executive chef of Barrio. The reason I choose this recipe is because I think it showcases the wasontle in a very good way, but then it carries the flavor of the VMV Supremo cheese. Wasontle being this Mexican amazing vegetable. It's so nice that now we have access to this vegetable and then the other thing is the cheese. You know, using like VMV Supremo, like Chihuahua cheese, it really makes a difference. So I'll put a little bit of salt, some of my umami component, that it's the fish sauce. Then to this, I'll add some eggs. And this is just like making a crab cake, but instead of putting crab, you're putting uh, wasontles. Wasontle being this like super high protein, high fiber uh, miracle food, you know? We actually, um, in Mexico, we eat this quite often. I'll add some breadcrumbs. And then you're gonna make these little balls and then dip it in flour, egg wash, and then back again into the panko just to get that nice crust. I'm literally looking for that cheese to get nice and gooey in the center while I'm frying it. And I like to fry them in a combination of canola oil and olive oil to add that extra flavor. Something that I learned from my grandmother while she was doing this, it's like you tilt the pan a little bit and then you start bathing the wasontle cake when you apply heat, meaning in this case the, the stove and simple ingredients, you can actually turn something into amazing, you know? Okay, nice and red color. And I'm gonna take my sauce. Just wanna put a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then goes from here. This cotija cheese, it's really gonna make a huge difference. Food and memories, you know? It's funny when you can make something that you, probably, that you probably ate like 20 years ago and you taste it and it's like, wow. That's, that's what my grandma used to cook. If you go to vvsupremo.com, you can actually get way more recipes than just these ones.